Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another episode of the most offensive podcast ever. I'm Slimmy V, and today I am going to be talking about um, Gwen Berry, uh, the hammer thrower. Okay, I call her Thor or Thora, you know, and the fact that she turned her back away from the flag as the anthem was playing that's during the Olympic trials I have a take you know I have my take on it let me play this small little clip and I'm gonna give you my clip I'm in my you know my thoughts uh, um, please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to the channel now without further ado let's roll this Americans, though, still making a stand in different ways in the lead up to the games. Hammer thrower Gwen Berry turning away from the American flag as the national anthem played at the Olympic trials in Oregon. Me being able to represent my communities and my people and those who have died at the hands of police brutality, those who have died to this system, systemic racism, um, I feel like that's the important part. Her actions recalling Juan Carlos and Tommy Smith making a stand for racial justice at the 1960s. Mexico City games, but her abilities got Barry onto the team, joining long jumper Brittany Reese, hurdler Grant Holloway, and 17 year old runner Arian Knighton, among others, all qualifying in Oregon. Americans, though, still. All right. Um, my take on Gwen Berry turning her back away from the flag. See, this is why I don't like idols. Because. Again, I'm going to be consistent. This, this is why I don't like statues. I don't like idols. I don't like flag being this representation of whatever. But nonetheless, it is, right? So how do we deal with it, right? So that let's deal with it with how it's being used, okay? The flag represents a country. You are one of the best in this country, and you're going to represent United States, of America you are a black woman right so being that you are the best in this country and you're going to represent us I don't think going to the Olympic or in the trials is the time to make that stance you could make that stance within US if anything I'm, I'm, I'm like whatever you want to take a knee whatever i really don't care you know i think people should have the right to make a stance on whatever they believe or whatever they don't believe it is what it is but i'm thinking this is a dream come true for you okay in a country that's supposedly suppressing you or oppressing you or not giving you a chance you are actually being picked okay you are actually one of the best in this country and you have the opportunity to go and represent this country as one of the best and then you turn your back away from supposedly a country that's oppressing you right and of course you say oh okay this is for whatever um i guess police brutality or anything like this look that's being taken care of they're on it it's not like they don't know um okay there are certain aspects of police and they have to be taken care of right certain aspects but for you to go there and you know it, it it's an embarrassment to you, you know, and if you think that possibly America is this racist place, so why would you want to even represent the United States? Why? I would not want to represent um, a corporation if I feel they were racist. I would not want to represent a country if I feel they were racist and oppressing certain people. So, do you want to do this? Do you want to go to the Olympics? 
Do you want to represent this country according to you if it's racist, if it's doing things purposely because they don't like certain groups? Why go? So then Crenshaw have a point. Why do you want to represent the U.S.? There's a dream come true. Anyone that comes here have an opportunity to be somebody that they would not normally be if they were in their native country. So, yeah, there are some broken things in this country, but it's being fixed. Okay, so, uh, Gwen Berry, I... Do you want to represent this country? Do you want to go to the Olympics? You know, if not, wherever you're from, that's who you should have represented. Okay? Um, because this is not looking good on you. Okay, well, that's my take. Um, anyone that have, you know, any comments, please comment below. If you agree, whatever, please hit the like button. Okay, share this video. And I'm subscribed to the channel. Um, if you're not offended, you probably wasn't watching it or listening. I'm Slimmy V, and this is the most offensive podcast ever. God bless, stress less, and let Yahweh do the rest. I'm out. Peace.